Why did Reddit go from pro-Elon to anti-Elon in 23 years? Elon started outpacing his marketing team. So the more people learned about Elon, the less they liked Elon. Calling the diver that saved the kids in Thailand a pedophile was my turning point. He's just gone downhill from there. One of the reasons Reddit first liked him was because he wasn't a boring billionaire like we were. Usually used to he was posting memes on Twitter, making jokes on interviews, dancing on stage, and even smoking weed on a podcast. However, as time passed, people realized that other than that, he is just like every other billionaire. He only cares about the money, and nothing but the money. His goals of the future, like inhabiting Mars or making huge underground highways to reduce traffic are nothing but excuses for him to get more followers and therefore more money. Reddit is not a monolith and public perception changes. People have not always liked Elon, and those that did like him, or do like for one or two things, does not necessarily like everything he says or does. There are still pockets of Reddit that are firmly pro-Elon. The mask came off. Turns out he's just a jackass billionaire out to serve his own ego and nothing else. I used to be pro-Elon because I liked the companies he associated himself with. Tesla, SpaceX, that solar company. But Elon kept being an asshat in public. Over and over. Even before he called someone rescuing kids a pedo because he got told off for trying to make the story about the kids into an Elon story. He was union busting and trying to push his workers into unsafe factory settings. It took about a year for him to lose all my goodwill. But then he just kept being an asshole who actually undermined his companies with his public statements. Now that he actually risks companies I still like through his stupid antics. He is actively someone I dislike. In the end, why did my opinion change? Because someone's behavior is the best metric to judge someone by. And how behavior has been terrible. Because the truth about Elon is slowly but surely coming out. He plasters his names on others' ideas and inventions. He's got no moral compass. And he's a business person first and a world savior dead last I think that the truth about everyone eventually comes out. Two reasons. 1. Elon is an egotistical thin-skinned vaporware salesman. Beginning of this becoming apparent was when the Thai children got trapped in a cave and one of the expert divers brought in to rescue them asked Musk to stay in his lane. So Musk called him a child molester. Point two. Elon seems somewhat right wing and Reddit leans left. My perception is 23 years ago there were strongly pro Elon people who posted a lot. And much more indifferent Elon people who didn't really argue with the Tesla bros. Now, thanks to Elon's activities becoming more disruptive, the indifferent people are more anti Elon now. And perhaps the pro-Elon people are less so after he's driven Tesla stock into the tank in the past year. Losing about half its value in the past year. Because Elon slowly revealed who he is and over time people saw it and didn't like it. I'm starting to regret getting shirtless Elon tattooed on me, when it was trending. Because he spent those years being a huge jackass. Musk fired his public relations team in early 2020. Why did Reddit? It's not just Reddit. The general population thinks Elon Musk has been a moron over the past 23 years. Because Elon Musk has been a moron over the past 23 years. He's not as bad as the metaverse though. Because Elon went from a visionary to a douchebag in 23 years. Before he was just a rich dude with cool tech companies. 
Then he started to be more vocal about his political opinions and a significant portion of Reddit. Users don't share the same viewpoints. Some of the kids around here seem to actually be growing up. It's heartwarming is what it is. Bots I never really heard about Elon Musk until recently when he bought Twitter. I knew who he was. Meaning I knew his name. But I never really saw him mentioned online so much until the Twitter thing. Now he's mentioned everywhere. People are making YouTube videos about him. My MSN homepage feed has an article about him almost every day and of course Twitter is hashtagging about him like crazy right now. Familiarity breeds contempt. I.e., now we know what kind of douche he is. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.